Where the trespass against the law, the sin, abounded, the grace did abound more exceedingly, that as the sin reigned in the death, even so might the grace reign through righteousness into life eonic through Yeshua anointed our Lord. Romans chapter 6. What shall we say then? Shall we remain in the sin so that the grace may abound? Hallelujah! Not so! We who died in the sin, how shall we any longer live in it? Or are ye unknowing that all we who were baptized into anointed Yeshua were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him through the baptism into the death, that like as anointed was raised out of dead ones through the glory of the Father, so we also might walk in newness of life. For if we have become united with him in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of the sin might be done away with, that we are no longer to be subservient to the sin. For he that hath died is justified from the sin. But if we died with anointed, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that anointed, being raised out of dead ones, dieth no more. Death no more hath dominion over him. For the death that he died, he died to the sin once. But the life that he liveth, he liveth to the God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead ones on the one hand to the sin, but on the other hand alive ones to the God, alive ones in anointed Yeshua. Let not the sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey the desires thereof. Neither present your members to the sin as instruments of unrighteousness but present yourselves to the God as if being alive out of dead ones and your members as instruments of righteousness to the God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law covenant, but under grace. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law covenant, but under grace? Hallelujah, not so! Have ye known not that to whom ye are presenting yourselves as bondservants into obedience, his bondservants ye are being whom ye are obeying, whether bondservants of sin into death or bondservants of obedience into righteousness? But thanks be to the God that whereas ye were bondservants of the sin, ye became obedient from the heart to that form of teaching whereto ye were delivered. And being made free from the sin, ye became enslaved to the righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh, for as ye presented your members as servants to the uncleanness and to the lawlessness into the lawlessness, even so now present your members as servants to the righteousness into sanctification. For when ye were bondservants of the sin, ye were free in regard of the righteousness." What fruit then had ye at that time in the things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now, having been freed from the sin, and having been enslaved to the God, ye have your fruit into sanctification, and the end life For the wages of the sin is death 
but the grace gift of the God is life eonic in anointed Yeshua our Lord. Or are ye being unknowing, brothers, for I am speaking to ones knowing the law, that the law is having dominion over the man for as long a time as he is living?' 